welcome to the discussion about uh, modern history now uh, here uh, everywhere we have considered that consider the following statements and select more most appropriate option uh, so i am reading out first sentence uh, according to the charter act of 1813 the governor general had a council of four and was given a casting vote but no veto second according to pitts india act monopoly of the trade in india of east india company ended so first thing uh, according to charter act of 1813 this was not there whatever the things uh, are mentioned here they are according to regulating act so first statement is false and second is also not true that is according to charter act and therefore uh, both statements are false option that is b is correct option consider the following statements every time question is same consider the following statement and a uh, set is given so two statements are there statement number 1 bombay in bracket it is written as now mumbai because now name is change uh, was obtained by british from siddhi of janjira in 1620 second british established supreme court in bombay uh, for british india now uh, actually uh, with my knowledge answer is both statements are false uh, see uh, first thing bombay that was obtained by britishers uh, from portuguese people initially that uh, bombay uh, various theories are there uh, we say that uh, there is a goddess named as mumba devi and uh, on basis of that the name is given as mumbai mumba ai ai means mother so like that mumbai is named whereas uh, in case of portuguese they say Uh, bomb means good, and bay means uh, you are aware of bay that is in English, and so good bay. Therefore, they given name as Bombay. Anyhow, but uh, initially it was controlled by Portuguese people, and in 1660 it was technically given in hands of Britishers. Practically somewhere 1663. So uh, first statement is false. Second statement, actually with my knowledge. a uh, supreme court should be there is only one and it was established in kolkata at that time kolkata so it was established uh, because governor of bengal was considered as governor general and therefore supreme court was established there but uh, at uh, some uh, websites it is given that uh, britishers established supreme courts in bombay madras like that so with my knowledge actually it was high court but uh, may be possible uh, because i am not getting references so i have to go the second statement as true and so if first is false and second is true that means option that is d first governor general of british india was robert clive Lord Dalhousie was the first who fused Governor General and Commander in Chief post. So, uh, first Governor General of British India was Robert Clive. This is wrong statement. Uh, this statement is not true. Whereas second, Lord Dalhousie was first who fused Governor General and Commander in Chief. So both posts were fused first time by Warren Hastings and not by Dalhousie. so both statements are false answer is b lord william bentinck was governor general who made laws to stop practice of sati charter act of 1833 was having provision to stop practice of slavery in india uh, first statement uh, lord william bentinck was governor general who made laws to stop practice of sati this statement is true uh the sati that practice was not a really good not at all humanity 
is there in that practice and uh, so this type of things are stopped by Britishers we must be thankful for uh, this thing and uh, second the Charter Act of 1833 theoretically uh, was having provision to stop practice of slavery in India but you are aware that in India the forms of slavery are different not directly like uh, in England they were having slaves so like that slavery was not there in India and therefore I am saying that theoretically it is stopped but practically it was continued till much later deaths and so uh, first statement is true second is true both true therefore answer is A in 1850 the first experimental electric telegraph line was started between Kolkata that means Kolkata and Diamond Harbour so this statement is also true uh, this is the scientific development that helped British Empire to develop to very great extent because they were having now communication and secondly transport also uh, because second statement first passenger train is started from Bori Bandar uh, in bracket it is written as now CSMT that is Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Terminus to Thane in 1853 by British so both statements are true uh, because of communication and transport they were able to consolidate the empire they were able to rule the empire for longer period now uh, next question Bombay Baroda and Central Railway uh, Central India Railway company started first train service in India uh, second their headquarters was at Nagpur so first important thing that uh, what BBCI that is Bombay Baroda Central India Railway Company they were having headquarters in Bombay that means Mumbai and uh, they didn't started this uh, train uh, first train now today that Bombay Baroda Central India Railway Company that is now considered as Western Railway whereas uh, their headquarters was at Mumbai so first railway in India was started by Great Indian Peninsula Railway so this statement is false here so as both statements are false option is B Assam Manipur were annexed from Burma uh, at that time it was called as Burma but in our language we call it as Brahmadesh and now the name is Myanmar uh, this is only bracket uh, so uh, I am reading out the entire sentence Assam Manipur were annexed from Burma Empire during first Anglo-Burma war so the statement is true Sin was annexed by British army by defeating Queen Jindan Kaur uh, this statement is false because uh, Queen Jindan Kaur was there in Punjab after uh, uh, Maharaja Ranjit Singh she was controlling the empire and so second statement is false so first is true second is false option C Canning was last governor general of East India Company Wool permanent settlement system was practiced in Punjab by Lord William Benting so first statement is false that Canning uh, sorry first statement is true that Canning was last governor general of East India Company rule so when there was revolt we say it is first freedom struggle of India but Britishers says it is meeting, mutiny of sepoy so whatever the thing but uh, at that time the governor general was uh, Lord Canning whereas after revolt reorganization of this empire was there and then uh, that Canning was appointed as Viceroy of India so only thing is that first he was Governor General and now first Viceroy of India also same person permanent settlement system actually it was introduced by Lord Cornwallis for Bengal so here permanent settlement system was practiced in Punjab by William Benting this is false uh, uh, in case of Punjab they started a new system that is called as Mahalwari system and so first is true second is false that means option is D uh, sorry C now after CTFS 
uh, some factual questions. At time of First Anglo-Maratha War, the Governor General Watts, Warren Hastings, Lord William Benting, Lord Dalhousie, and Canning. So just now we discussed Canning was there around 1857, and uh, Anglo-Maratha War was in 18th century. First Anglo-Maratha War that was in 18th century. So answer is Warren Hastings is the right answer here. He started the war uh, unnecessarily. And then uh, in some book it is mentioned that he was the loser and some British uh, oriented books say no, uh, it was indecisive war and status quo was maintained. But practically speaking status quo means position before the war and then you will realize that it is not a status quo. Hmm? Uh, so ninth question answer is Warren Hastings. Uh, first subsidiary, tenth question, first subsidiary alliance was signed by Indian ruler is options Peshwa Bajirao II, Hyder Ali, Nijam of Hyderabad and Nawab of Awad. So right answer here is Nijam of Hyderabad. So C is right answer. Uh, with my knowledge I have given the answers but if you are having any doubt or if you know better answer in this case then kindly mention it in the comment but at the same time try to give proof what answer you are giving there. Thanks.